IP Karma programming. It will be similar like in the NVR. First of all, you have two options. You program it from the screen. Sorry, you don't have two options. You have one option. You connect to the camera over the network. Uh, you have two options with the NVR. Uh, but sometimes you actually you have two options because you could use the so-called tools, uh, which is software provided by the producer of the camera, and you can kind of log into the camera from that software. But uh, most of the time, w the way I do this is I, I connect a laptop to the same within the same range, IP range, and I program camera from the laptop because this gives me much better control of what I'm setting. So, as usual, you set up your secure password, uh, and a lot of uh, producers will require at least eight characters, um, one capital letter, one digit, at least one digit, one capital letter, and one special character, something like that. I'm not saying this exactly the same, but more or less. Again, with the IP cameras, it's extremely important you set a proper date and time. And do not forget the time zone. And then daylight savings time and network protocol, network time protocol. Again, follow guidance for your country. Uh, why it is important? Because in, for many uh, IP cameras, if you uh, won't set properly that, you leave it alone, uh, what happens? camera will stay in the time zone uh, from the producer which a lot of them will be China and a lot of um, IP cameras display their own time on the new NVR screen so then you have uh, some weird situations where main time of the uh, NVR is well, I don't know five o'clock and the camera is like eight hours off and then you have to log into every camera. I had so many such a cases that whoever was installing that was doing a very really bad job and uh, they wouldn't change the time zone. They would, it would change the time, but not the time zone. And uh, certain, whatever, somebody w won't notice that and then they will notice and uh, <laughs> they have to call back and uh, change it. And uh, you are lucky if you remember, you know the password for the camera. <laughs> so anyway, password and then uh, complete setup of time, including time zone, daylight savings and network time protocol. I didn't say what the network time protocol is, but it's basically address where the camera can uh, <coughs> synchronize the time. It's important and it typically I set it for 60 uh, minutes so camera every 60 minutes can connect and synchronize the time then you set up your office network IP address subnet mask and gateway if you know them if you don't know them follow steps about settings IP the next slide in most cases your camera will have all the ports already set default ports do not change them at this stage unless you really know what you're doing Make note of all the ports and IP. IP setup. If you know all the IP addresses already in use, just pick one that is free. If you do not know what is in use, to initially find your IP address, subnet, type IP config in a CMD on a computer laptop, which is already connected to the network. Run IP scanner software. I will have also a lesson on that. It's probably not today yet, but I will. Uh, it's called Advanced IP Scanner. You can install it and it will let you discover all the devices on your network. And then you can pick the uh, address which is free. Another way to get a proper IP address is to set camera to the DHCP. I already explained in another lesson what DHCP is. So you, you check that box, you connect camera to the network and let it, let camera run its, its course and it will obtain IP from the network. One, uh, it is all done, 
camera has already uh, IP mask and a gateway. You untick the box and click save apply. You do not want to leave your camera on DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol as it may cre create connectivity problems with external access or actually with camera we, we may create problem with access uh, for the NVR. I'm oh, sorry. Thank you.